Serpicatinib is, um, is, is a retin inhibitor, which has just been available, made available in the NHS. Um, it's, uh, it's very interesting in terms of the precision medicine approach because we've known about ret fusions for a long time and, and uh, these known, known oncogenic drivers. And um, people used to try and use relatively non-specific ret inhibitors. And there was registry data presented several years ago that showed the response rate uh, to these non-specific inhibitors was relatively low, well under 20%. And there's now been a couple of specific RET inhibitors uh, uh, developed, of which salpicatinib is the first one available to us in the NHS. And they have extremely high response rates, uh, you know, up at sort of 70 odd percent, um, including CNS activity, uh, which is very important in these patients because you see a lot of brain metastasis in these patients. So th th um, this is, is really important um, for, for this patient group. It is relatively small. It's probably around about 1% of the non squamous population. But um, not only is it important because we've got this new treatment for them in the second line setting, so uh, by license and then NHS approval, they have to have chemotherapy first. But uh, as we've found with a lot of these other oncogenic drivers, um, if you just give them, they don't respond well to single agent immunotherapy and whether they respond to the addition of immunotherapy to chemotherapy is still uncertain. So um, we shouldn't be treating these patients the same way as we might the non-oncogene driven uh, lung cancers. Um, we should be looking at a precision targeted approach. So then it's all about testing, 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 and, and finding these patients. But, uh, you know, th th this is the other thing, you know, because we've got these new approvals, um, it, it, it really has re gone past the tipping point now where, you know, you could do your single gene tests and your EGFR and your ALK, so you could pick up patients appropriately because of adding in things like RET and the NTRAC uh, inhibitors. You know, if you want to pick up all the patients that you can treat, you have to do a panel. It has to be a next-generation sequencing panel.